What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Basic Series Superstar 21, Brie Bella. And of course, this, she is from the WrestleMania Heritage Series. And let me just move my viewfinder so I can actually see what I'm doing. And there we go. She is from the WrestleMania Heritage Series. We have a lovely picture of Brie right there, Mrs. Daniel Bryan. On the back, that same image of Brie, really beautiful picture of Brie, I'm going to say that. No signature still, really wondering why there are no signatures for Divas. Uh, anybody care to explain that to me? But anyway, recreate the action of the WWE. Other figures of the WrestleMania Heritage line are Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, John Cena, Booker T, and Randy Orton. Not much more to say about the packaging, so what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get this girl out of the packaging, and we'll go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Brie Bella posing out of the packaging. Now let's get a good 360 of her. Right off the bat, I'm going to say she's a okay figure. Not the greatest figure, but she's pretty good. And it's a welcome update to some what well, figure we might already have, but... You know, I'm always for updates, especially if it's brand new attire, new looks, new head sculpt, whatever. But anyway, let's get actually, speaking of head sculpt, let's actually get a look at her face. Uh, does that look like Brie Bella? Uh, I think from the jaw, yes. The jawline is absolute, no, no, excuse me, is absolutely Bella, but the eyes... I don't know, it's like from the nose up, they didn't get the face right, and it's hard to say. I I think from some angles it looks like Brie, but from a head-on shot, uh, it doesn't. See, from this side, it, the more you turn the head, the more it looks like Brie, but then that straight-on shot really doesn't work. Uh, I think... I think what I might end up doing is head-swapping for one of the older Bella figures, because... This head sculpt really isn't that great, although I do like the hair. It's really soft on Brie. It's really, really pliable, and you can get her head moving no problem. Oh, let's actually show that on camera. Her head moves no problem, although you do have to struggle with getting the hair over the shoulders. Going on to some of her details. She is wearing her sports bra with a dragon on it. And then black... Black shorts with no design on them. Kind of wish that the dragon design carried on to the to her shorts. And then you have her kick pads, which are inspired by Daniel Bryan. As you can see, these are the dragon kick pads, which look really nice. Kind of wish they would make the trifold or the tri wing kick pads for divas. Although divas don't necessarily wear the tri wing kick pads, so. I think that's a missed opportunity. And yes, there is a bit of paint blemish on mine. You can see there's a tear right there. And if the camera will please focus. There's a, some, some paint missing right there. But it's it's okay. It's, it's toward the back. So it's not like I'm going to be looking at it all day long. She doesn't come with any accessories because she is a basic figure. But... I actually do did want to pick Brie up, I just never found her in stores. But anyway, moving on to her articulation, and this is where, if you saw my Nikki review, I had a problem with the figure. I'm not doing much to move this head. Okay, I'm even going to grab it from the, flimsy, uh, from the flimsy hair, and you can see the head wants to turn. I don't know what it is, but the Bellas, the head joints just don't work on the peg and I actually popped the head off both Brie and Nikki and the pegs are fine. It's whatever is up here that's the problem that like, it doesn't sit right or there's too much excess room at the ball peg but you can fix it by thickening the ball peg but you know that's two divas in a row and I get this problem. I I can fix it, but I kind of wish that they would make sure that the heads fit properly. I'd, I wonder if this is just my figure or if it's all the Brie Bellas, but like I said, it was also an occurrence with Nikki, so I'm guessing something with the new head sculpt 
you know, is a problem up here, but she does have full range of movement in the head, thanks to the soft hair. Her head can look up and down, but because the way the ball joint is, you really don't get any sort of play in it because it just wants to stay in one position. Arms on a ball joint go out. Do a full 360. She spins at the bicep. Stiff joint on that side, kind of stiff on that side. She is single jointed at the elbow. Really nice joint, and it's the same for both arms. And just a standard wrist swivel. She has a mid-torso crunch, so she can move forward. Not really side to side, just up and just back and forth movement here. Waist swivel, which I really detest on these Diva figures. Legs go forward, back, and out. She spins at the thigh. Sti really tight joint, I like that. She's single jointed at the knee. Boot swivel. And has a hinged ankle. So all the articulation you expect from a Diva figure. Nothing too flashy, although... Rocker ankles would really help out Diva figures a lot. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get a pose up, and we'll move on to my final thoughts. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Brie Bella pose for my final thoughts. And overall, like I said, she's a really welcome update to a out-of-date figure. I'm kind of glad that we get an updated Brie and Nikki. Although this was a single pack, and normally the Bellas are packed in a battle pack, and... They've each had a single release now, so I I like that they got their own individual releases. That way you didn't have to pick both of them up if you're a fan of one or the other. Which essentially you got the same figure twice. With Nikki and Bree, you get two different figures, especially with the sculpt. I think the arms were the same. I don't know. I'll have to go back and check. But like I said, if you're looking for an updated Bree figures, this one will actually do until the Bellas get a new battle pack, which is coming out. I think it's next year, I want to say early next year, but I'll have to check the timetable on that. I had to pick my Brie up on a wrestling trading group on Facebook because I was never able to find her in stores. Every Walmart I had that did the WrestleMania series, they always didn't have Brie, so I kind of had to swallow my pride and pay like $20 for her. Which is a pretty good pricing is how eBay is charging like 30 bucks for her. If you can find her for a good price and you need an updated Brie Bella, I highly recommend you pick her up. And this is King of Dragons 5000 saying don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, tell me what do you think of Brie Bella. Is she worth it? Do you like her older releases better? Let me know down in the comments. And once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Take care everyone.